Welcome to True Insight, a premium channel partner for Altair Engineering. In this video, we'll look into geometry modeling using Altair Inspire. Using Altair Inspire 2021, a user can perform design, optimization, analysis, simulation, and manufacturing. Let's start with the basics. Upon opening Altair Inspire 2021, the startup window looks like this. It is divided into three parts. Number one is the GUI or the graphics user interface. Number two is the model browser and the property editor. And number three, the menu bar. Let's start with a basic design exercise. For this, we'll use the sketch and the geometry toolbar. Click on the sketch toolbar and select new sketch. You can select a face or a plane for the sketch. Now, let's select the rectangle tool and start sketching. As you can see, the cursor snaps onto the grid to simplify the process. Once the sketch is complete, we need to constrain the sketch by adding dimensions. Let's set the le length of the rectangle at 8 inches and the height of the rectangle at 1 inch. Then click the right mouse button and click the check mark to confirm the entries. We can add additional dimensions to constrain the sketch. Let's dimension the edges to the origin to center the sketch. Additionally, we can select a line and click the right mouse button to see additional options and constraints that can be applied. Now, let's draw a semicircle by selecting one from the arcs menu. The center of the circle can snap onto the existing sketch. The snap feature can be turned off by clicking on the crosshairs at the bottom right of the screen, right next to the unit selector. Let's set the radius of the semicircle at 2 inches. We can trim the excess lines by selecting the Trim tool. And then let's add a fillet at the joints and set the dimension at 0.5 inches. To create the internal features, let's create a 1 inch circle inside the existing sketch. We can add the tangent constraint to lock the sketch. Just select the circle in the line and click the right mouse button to see options. Now click the geometry menu and let's select extrude. Select the sketch either from the model browser or from the GUI and enter the extrude length. Let's set it at 2 inches. Click the right check mark to finish. Now let's add some fillets. We can select the fillets from the geometry toolbar and select the edges we want to fillet. Let's go back to the sketch menu and draw some circles. To create a bolt hole, we can select the face of the body where we want to sketch. Let's add a half inch circle and provide the necessary dimensions to constrain the sketch. Once the dimensions are added, Click the right mouse button to enter. Let's use the mirror function to create another circle at the other end of the model. All we need to do is create a center line for the axis. Right click on the center line to see options and select construction to make it into a construction line. That would be our axis. Then select the mirror tool, select the curves to mirror and the axis and click the check mark. Once done, you can click the right mouse button to exit sketch mode. Now you can use the extrude function to create the bolt holes. We just need to select subtract from the results and then select the sketches. Then click on the plus or minus sign to reverse the direction and extend all through. Click on the check button to finish. Now we have a bearing housing modeled. Subscribe to True Insight for more videos outlining tutorials, tips, and solutions. Also visit trueinsight.io.